Welcome to the Great Nerd Debate. I am Chad, your host. Today we have Kyle, and we have the defending champion, Chris, our drunk Chris. The incumbent president of winning. <laughs> <laughs> Today we are going to be debating who is the coolest villain in Dragon Ball Z. Who is your going to be? Who is your coolest Dragon Ball Z villain? Uh, I submit to the jury um <laughs> vegeta from the saiyan saga is the coolest villain the the yeah, saiyan saga the original vegeta red hair vegeta green gi it's over nine thousand. <laughs> yeah i wasn't going to stage he had black hair in that though and that was just the light and everything on the planet the red looked way cooler yeah red's more legit yeah that vegeta yeah what about you sir so, Ooh. make a pick Majin Vegeta? No. <laughs> Alright, so you pick Vegeta, Saiyan Saga, and you pick Cell from the Cell Saga. Mm -hmm. Alright, the way this is going to work, round one, each person is going to be doing their opening statement. You have three minutes to let me know why you think yours is the best from the beginning. Uh, roll to see who goes first. Oh, you're the champion. Pick one to twenty. <laughs> Odds or evens? Odds. Alright, do you want to go first or second? Go first. Alright. Alright. Let us know why, starting now. Well, Cell was... I don't know. <laughs> Cell was made, basically, out of all the DNA from the best heroes in Dragon Ball Z uh, by Dr. Thoreau. And he was... Also, he was made out of all the best DNA from Goku, Vegeta, um, all of them, I believe. And he's the best because he could have killed everybody. He pretty, he pretty much killed everybody in the world. But he also could have killed the rest of the fighters. Instead, he wanted to battle them. He wanted to... He could have killed all of them until he uh, brought out Gohan's strength, which was a mistake later on. But Goku couldn't beat him. Uh, Gohan's the only one he could suck up. Everybody he consumed, he took their powers, basically, and their power level. Um, he was cocky, funny, lovely, lo lovely, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. I just think the fact that he, he wanted to fight was what made him awesome and scary. That's about it. That's your opening statement? Yep. Okay. Now. All right. So, yeah, sure, tournaments are always fun. It's super cool to watch a villain stand in the center and go, okay, now it's your turn. But you know what's even cooler than that? Killing Raditz, being like, we fucking did it. And then hearing over his scouter, someone going, hey Raditz, we're going to come and get those Dragon Balls and fucking murder everyone on Earth. Oh, and we're way, 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 way stronger than you, just a reminder, bitch. And then the rest of the Z Fighters are standing there going, well, Goku's dead. Fuck. This guy, so everyone has to train super hard. Goku has to go to heaven to train with a god to be able to come down to fight Vegeta. He shows up, wrecks Nappa, but doesn't kill him. Vegeta goes, useless. Kills Nappa. Kills his own friend. What a fucking villain. Effectively making him, in his mind, the very last Saiyan. Because he doesn't know uh, Goku's a Saiyan at this point. He literally goes, fuck my, his Saiyan pride. You are a weak Saiyan. And fucking murders him. Straight up villain. You know he's scary. You know he's evil. And on top of that, Goku goes, He's way stronger than me. And he, everyone's like, wait, he's stronger than you, Goku? You're our god. You're supposed to beat everything and everyone. And 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 fucking Vegeta's just like, oh, over 9,000? Good thing I'm level 15 or whatever, you know? And then they fight and they fight and they fight. And it's super fucking rad. And Goku doesn't win this fight. Vegeta loses it, which makes it even more villainy because he's getting in his pod going, I'll get you next time, and flies away. Perfect villain fashion. Vegeta's the best villain in Dragon Ball. But he didn't do it this time. Sorry. 
You're I'm right. Gonna give, I'm going to give you a quick fact check, and this is just my nerd coming out. He knew Goku was a Saiyan because Raditz went there with them knowing that oh, he his brother know. was a Saiyan on the right. planet. I thought he didn't know. Whatever. doesn't really go against your argument. I so, just want to... Point being is... Yeah. He thought he was a level... He was like, I'm the fucking prince of all Saiyans. What was he, a level three? Like a like a chump change, basically? Power level of 300. And... No, he was like a class Saiyan three. Yeah, like some something stupid Goku like was like... Supposed to be bad but... when he when he's in the Birkin chamber in the Broly movie they go over. It yes, more. yeah, yeah. That's all the kind of retcon. Mm-hmm. The Broly movie doesn't exist. Goku was put in there because he was a little minion, and then they're like, do away with them. And yeah, Arc yeah. was like, but Vegeta that's... grew a heart, and you know, it's hey, like, sh- like a true villain. Sh- no, we're not there yet. Hey, because I'm just... gonna I gotta ask a couple questions. Well, we're chopping we'll at the round two. Kyle. What about Cell makes him scary, like you were saying? What about him makes him scary? He, you were kind of putting little things there. He, there. he makes fun out of killing anything. And even if it takes a longer for him to kill, he likes to sport. He has, he's like a scorpion. He, he, he's like, in, he sticks you with his tail and starts sucking. What is not terrifying about <laughs> that? that? Is- Body horror is pretty scary. Yeah. <laughs> and then he turns into a different bug, basically. What makes Vegeta a terrifying villain? Well, I'm going to talk about a filler episode. Hey, one minute. That's Remember when, have. when they go to the bug planet <laughs> and they get captured and the entire time Vegeta's just standing there, bored out of his fucking mind, and like they send the royal guard after them and he's like, Get him, Nappa. And Nappa just murders the royal guard, and a giant monster comes out of the ground. He's like, get him, Nappa. And Nappa like, figures out so much fun, too. Nappa was having a fucking <laughs> ball, right? But Vegeta, cold demeanor. He's standing there. He's waiting. He's like, look, we have a mission to do. I'm going to let you, Mad, you know, he let his dog kill whatever he wanted, but he's, you're like, oh, fuck, Nappa's scary. But the little guy ain't doing shit. And I know he's going to do something fucking crazy. I think that's scarier. <coughs> also, dude, Gatlick gun, beam struggled with Kamehameha times 20 and 1. I'll give you a five. Oh, that's fucking terrifying. Alright, so you're done. Now we're going into round two. This is the round where each opponent will be able to argue against the other's opening statement. Kyle, since you won the role, you get to go first. Why... Is everything he said wrong compared to how cool Cell is? Well, everything he's saying isn't wrong, but compared to Cell, Vegeta, ter- first of all, Vegeta, the, the saga wasn't too long for, he has same, the same pride as what makes him awesome, I think, but that's all he's got. You're the fucking worst moderator. I'll give you extra time. I think I know who's oh, winning. How many? What are I have? 15 seconds? Three I, minutes. Just go. Go. I think I know who's winning. Well, Let's three go. Minutes. You have three minutes. <laughs> what, what, what was I? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, literally, what was I just saying? Uh, you said Saiyan Pride is awesome. Yeah. No, he's got the Saiyan Pride, which makes him scary because he basically has the rage, but he's not. He doesn't. It's a business. It's a Saiyan business what he's in. He was, he was going around. You know, trying to collect, you know, worlds and stuff like that. That's not why he was on Earth. Well, Cell was there. Cell was there just for the game. Mm, very one, just the game. Very one-dimensional. Well, it is Cell. Uh, he, he was made out of one Cell. No, so. Why but, is Cell? Why does? Why is Cell better than Vegeta? Sorry. You have two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I had to turn, it, I had to turn it off. Fucking Jordy. <laughs> Cell is better than Vegeta because he has like how many different forms? Five? Five different forms? Not three. For Cell? Yeah, three. In, uh, or there is a perfect Cell after perfect Cell. Bug, there. imperfect, and perfect. Yeah, okay. He was badass when he was a bug. Nobody could even kill him. They couldn't even sense him. If you were arguing just Bug Cell versus Vegeta, I would totally give it to just Bug Cell. Well, hey, Bug Cell's badass just because when he, he found that one person to eat. He ate that one person. And the next Cell moved to, like, how many people? A city. 
and then he he ate he consumed Android 16 and 17, which he was made to do. What makes him cooler than Vegeta? Though? Cooler? Yeah, because it's who's the coolest villain? Who? So what makes you? So what about Cell is cooler? Than, like his demeanor, all that stuff. Well, yeah, the demeanor, the game. I think I, I think that I think that he's basically it's all it's all for sport. That's what makes him cooler. He doesn't have to do anything. He just wants to fight. He wants to bring out the best power in people and, and try and match his own power. There's nothing cooler than that. Forfeiting your 37 seconds? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, I would like to, rely, to remind oh, the moderator to not 15 lead. Seconds. I'm going to ask you questions, too. Not just... to le lead the debaters towards answers that he would like to hear. I would ask, ask, I would ask more questions that we can follow each other. I would, like to I would also like to propose a question <laughs> to the moderator. Are you non-biased? Have you ever seen Dragon Ball and do you have your own opinions on it? Yes. Oh, you have seen it yes. and you have your own opinions. That's yes. not an impartial you my... judge. I'm not using my opinions because I'll tell you my opinion at the end of this and it might not match either one of you. It's probably like that bunny that turns people into candy that they put on the moon. <laughs> The thing that made Vegeta cool back then is the only thing that made Vegeta cool right now. No, that's a lie. All right. Not really. Want to sip your beer before you start? You have 15 seconds extra, so you have been 15 start. seconds extra. Okay, I'm going to refute why Cell is cool. Let's start. You know what my least favorite part about shonen anime is? Tournaments. Hey, guys, we need to stretch this season out. Well, let's do a tournament, but before we do the tournament, let's do training montages for like three weeks. Can I That's say fun. one thing? I'm not talking about the saga, I'm talking about the characters. No, I'm talking, the tournament wouldn't have happened if Cell didn't set it up. Cell's master plan was to fly out into the middle of nowhere, create a tournament field, stand there, let everyone power up, show up, take them out one by one in the least dramatic and boring way possible, because you know it's going to come down to Cell versus Goku, so what's the fucking point? It didn't. It did, though. Wait till round three. What's his motivation? I'm evil. Cool. That's it? <laughs> You're just evil to be evil? You have no grand plan beyond I'm evil? What was, Ve what was Vegeta's? He wanted to find the Dragon Ball to become immortal, to overthrow Frieza, and conquer the galaxy, and restore the Saiyan race. So that was his whole thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh... He... he uh, like... Him fighting Yamcha. Vegeta fighting Yamcha, or Yamcha fighting the Saiyan was to show you how powerful... Like, here's the Saiyan are at Raditz level, and they one-shot Yamcha. When Cell fights... Yam or no, Yamcha's dead at that point. So I guess when Cell fights Tien, uh, Tien is doing the uh, Kikoho, and Cell's like, whoa, this fucking sucks, or whatever, and you get blast, get blast, get... Uh, Tien dies, mm -hmm. Didn't hurt Cell. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so Cell's invincible until Goku punches him. Sick. That's a fun villain. Vegeta gets his ass kicked the entire fight and still manages to get back up and keep punching. Fucking Krillin almost cuts him in half. Fucking he gets solar flared. Gohan falls on him in the giant monkey form and he still gets back up and is still trying to beat the shit out of them. He's more of a character. There's more of a struggle for Vegeta, which makes him a better villain, on top of having an amazing motivation, a great character, fucking everything. Like, I wish I hadn't limited myself to just the Saiyan saga, because Namekian saga villain Vegeta is amazing as well, because here's a villain, enemy of my enemy is my friend, so now we know that Vegeta is cold and calculating on top of being a ruthless serial killer. Like, ultimate villain. And even up until he's buddies with Goku, he goes, Majin Vegeta. You know, so he's always thinking in the back of his head, like, I just want to beat the shit out of Goku. But not in the way that Cell wants to beat the shit out of Goku. He's doing it to humiliate and control. That's what he wants. He's about dominance, not about murder. And I think that makes a cooler villain. Do you want your extra 15 seconds there? Yeah. Can <laughs> we talk now? Hold on. No, 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 no. I just asked Hold on. No, no, no. I mean, hold on. Also, <laughs> Cell's second form is kind of racist. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, you two. Now, we're going into the fun round. This is round three, where each of you are able to talk to each other 
and argue why your characters are cooler to each other. Okay, do you remember? You have three minutes starting now. Do you remember when Vegeta did Big Bang Attack? Big Bang Attack's awesome. What about it? And he aimed it at Cell, mm -hmm. and he stood there charging, mm -hmm. and Cell was like, Haha, this ain't shit, mm -hmm. and this is Cell in perfect form. But as soon as Vegeta fired it, you see Cell go, oh shit, and like try to dodge it, and he just barely does, and has to use Piccolo's cheat powers to regrow himself. Uh, Vegeta could have won it right then and there. He's not badass though, that's why he didn't, he's scared. Yeah, but Cell has this thing called plot armor where like he has to stay alive. Until Cell could have killed Vegeta at any point. His and babies could have killed Vegeta. Also, I think Vegeta has some of the best animated fights in all of Dragon Ball. Just all of them. Except for maybe the 17 versus Piccolo fight. But the Vegeta versus 18, he gets fucking kicked in the arm. Dude. He's like, fuck, and he keeps fighting. Vegeta's the That brings another point. Humility. You said, you said Vegeta strives on humility, right? Basically. Right. That's all Cell is. That's why he has a tournament. He wants to humiliate people. Mm. He is the best. I feel like and he's gotten more fucked up than anybody. He's got, uh, <laughs> dude, Cell, Cell got like blown up 10 times, but you can just regenerate. Yeah. that badass. Vegeta got his tail cut off. Vegeta got beaten up. Vegeta got beat by Yajir Roby fucking trying dude, to Vegeta stab him. Vegeta got his tail cut off, exactly. Yeah, but he's so not... did Gohan and so did Goku. Goku pulled his own off. Yeah, and they yanked Gohan's off. Yeah. Was, um, that's child abuse. Yeah. But, uh, the old, like I said, there's that part where Goku's standing on the plateau. Kiko uh, times 20, and you're like, oh my god, you're gonna die, Goku. Your body can't take it. And then he Kamehameha straight up. It cuts to Vegeta. God, God, fires it. And Vegeta's all bloody and fucked yeah. up, so it's not even full power Vegeta using his strongest attack and countering Goku. So Goku has, yeah, but Goku, we're not really talking about him. I'm Cell can do Gallic Gun, too. Cell can do Gallic Gun, but here's the thing. Cell, and he can do Kamehameha. Right, but we're not talking technique. I'm not talking technique. I'm talking about everything. I'm talking... Just sheer force of, like, sure, you can well, write your character. My character's badass. He can do everything. That's not a fun character. The character who It's not fun. Us. That's why he made it fun. No. He made it a struggle. Also, he got, every who, form died, I think. Who has the best, like, Cell's got some great speeches, but Vegeta's speeches on Saiyan Pride and I am the ultimate warrior. Yeah, it's the same thing every I time. I am a it's super the, Saiyan. He never lives up to it, though. Uh, he could, does, he, though. His first mission, he didn't live now, up see, to. The problem, That's just the sad... I love Vegeta. That's the problem with truth. Vegeta is they turn him into a wharf. You use Vegeta to show how big and badass he, he got. He got whipped. They show... They use Vegeta to show you how scary the monster of the week is. You saw that point time. So, we all know Vegeta, base level, is stronger than Goku. It's established. Yes. It right? Is, it, it is, because, because Goku had to go train. Uh, Okay. But they still couldn't beat Cell. Because plot armor. Oh, whatever, it's Cell. Okay, well, no one can beat Batman. <laughs> Batman sucks. Oh, cell sucks. <laughs> so that was a nice round three. You guys didn't get too temperamental with each other. We could have kept going, but we, we were stopped. Yeah, sorry, fucking shitty moderator. Hey, give me three minutes. You guys had to speed, speed, talk, talk, talk. Now we have round four. This is... Your closing statements. This is where you put the cherry on top of your argument to let the other person know why your character is so fucking cool. Let me know. And you have two minutes. Starting now. Every single argument he made basically sell sell trumps it. He's he's there for he's there for sport. He has the attitude basically of Vegeta and everyone in the Z Fighters. Hmm. He has he. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Does he have their Does he have their memories? No. He does not. Does he have their memories? No. Doctor Jerome implanted all the events that he's made by all no, the events. He, no, he. I'm gonna stop this for a sec. Doctor Jerome implanted all the events that happened, all that in Cell's mind. So if Cell references things that happen. Right, but up to a certain point. That's what I was gonna say because the androids didn't know about Super Saiyan. Yeah, no, well, just just like in general, he knows who they are. Well, yeah, of course he yeah, knows well, like, who they no, are. Knows who, like, know their something moves. happened where like, he doesn't know style. like how many times Krillin something... was fucked in his life. No, you know? but he knows the Nobody battles. Knows he knows what. Android <laughs> <laughs> uh, eighteen, they you know. That's what I'm saying. Once <laughs> he got a kid out. She, of she just the she fact. Just... Hold on, the fact check this. 
And the thing, there was a little thing following them around during all the battles, collecting battle data and all that stuff in their moves. Until they went all right, to Alright, let, let me continue. Alright. Basically, what I'm trying to say is he, he has Vegeta inside him. You know? Hmm. He, has, he has a lot of his memories. Not, I wouldn't say all. He has so one could say he's a copycat. Copycat, maybe, but at least he, he was smart enough, or not smart enough, at least he's able to not have one, you know, bitch inside of him. He has, like, a, <laughs> at least five other awesome fighters and all their techniques. And he can regenerate. Yeah. He's done it so many times. So many times. Yeah. Vegeta runs. Yeah, it's pretty Vegeta cool. Vegeta runs away, and he comes back and doesn't finish the job. Oh, Vegeta never runs. Though. I thought this was mine. In fact, shh. Keep going. <laughs> Vegeta ran, came back, and didn't finish the job. He always, always, like, I'm the Saiyan Prince. He's never really been the prince of anything. He's just what he's saying. He's calling himself the same prince. No, he's not really been a prince, though. He, he, he was a prince, but he was never ruling anything. His Everybody was dead when he was ruling. How many Saiyans were alive? Well, like, like a hand, five Saiyans? Keep going, keep going. No, that's all I need. That's a small number. Good. I'm the ruler of a little group so of Saiyans. that's all you want to say? No, I can keep going. But... Oh, about Cell, though. Your final thing, why Cell's the coolest. More than just what you said. Okay, well, you he's basically seconds. all the good parts of Vegeta and not the bad parts. So, Cell is badass because he can regenerate. He has all the moves of all the Z fighters. He can fly. He transforms every single time he gets enough power. They say that was his perfect form. He even said it was his perfect form, but he could have kept going if he kept sucking you know what I mean? I'm sure he could have been like, he could have turned into a beautiful butterfly for all I know. Okay. That was an interesting round mm -hmm. four. Are you ready? I get to interrupt for like 15 seconds, right? Yeah. Well, my statement's gonna be real quick. Oh, God. We did a good one. Yeah. Thug armor. Go. Hey, which one's still alive? Who, who let him live? Uh, nobody, because, see, Vegeta does this thing where he loses, and he goes, fucking kill me. Cell was, like, laughing at Vegeta. He's like, yeah, you, you, I could kill you right now, but he's just struggling. I could kill you. Right, right, son, go. I could son kill, died. I could kill you right now, but, uh, kill your son. the writer won't let me. We have to wait for Goku to show up. All right, Vegeta in every fight, any time a villain shows up, everyone's like, what do we do? Vegeta goes, fucking punch him, and he flies in, and he starts punching him, and he gets his ass kicked, and then he goes, all right, fucking kill me, I suck. And they're like, nah. And then he goes, fuck you! And he trains and he gets stronger and he goes right the fuck back to the fight. He never runs. So him running is fucking stupid. Vegeta never runs from a fight. Except for that one time in the Broly movie, but that's not canon anymore. Remember where he's like, he's the legendary Super Saiyan and fucking... Yeah. They both slaps him. Um, what else? What makes Vegeta super badass? Uh, I am a sucker for redemption arcs. So the fact that Vegeta goes from being the greatest villain to Goku's greatest ally is fucking awesome. It's pretty fucking cool. It's pretty... And from what you're telling me from the manga, Vegeta only gets better. He only gets better. You like, follow what that means. He doesn't have... Uh, he doesn't have wind moves like Goku with like the, the spirit bomb and Kamehameha. He doesn't have the instant teleportation and all that shit. Vegeta is a fucking fighter. He learns to punch you, and he learns to punch you right, and then the second he hits you and your armor's broken, he's going to exploit it with the largest attack he has possible. He is so cool. Plus, he's the fucking short little guy with giant hair, and everyone's like, what a pussy. But everyone who knows him when he walks into a room is like, oh, fuck, it's Vegeta. You know what I mean? He, he scares the shit out of his friends. They're still like, at any point in time, this guy could snap and kill us all. <laughs> he's so good. And he bangs the hottest chick. I need to say one more thing. It's not going to count for your thing. It doesn't matter. All right. It's the point. It's all about the, it's all about the game. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Boo? I think you could probably keep going on this too. Yamcha? Uh, Oolong? Quar? Wait, well, did this Quar, one Quar, 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 was with, Quar, Quar was with Yamcha. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oolong? <laughs> Boo? Even Frieza, I would say, is, Which... is more of a friend to... Goku then that's just because he's still there, you know. That's what I'm saying. Vegeta is Who who is the one out of all these villains that Vegeta's like, Goku's best friend. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm saying out of all these villains, who's not with Goku? Who stood his ground? He, he took death over being friends with Goku. So uh, Vegeta Tau, was a villain. Tao Pai Pai. Who was a villain? Now you you y'all got succumbed to Goku's Garlic Jr. Huh? Emperor Pilaf is their friend now. Exactly. <laughs> really? Yeah. What about Burley Jr.? They're the new um, uh, Team Rocket. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, Which I like better than Rocket. What about Tau Pai Pai? Mercenary Please. Tau? Dude, I have him right here. He fucking throws a pillar, jumps on it, and flies because he's a badass. Yeah, but... He, ba taught, he taught Tien to do it in Pile. He got, scared, he got scared of Goku how many times? Yeah, but still... My point is, all these villains end up being friends with Goku. But Cell that's never more, was. That's, Cell never was. That's more Goku's superpower. Didn't affect Cell. Uh, cause Cell is Goku. And also, I'm pretty sure Cell wanted to fuck Goku. There's a lot yeah, of sexual tension. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There was a lot of sexual tension. <laughs> I'm saying, like... Like, yeah, I'll admit, Cell is cool, but he's not his best villain. Cause, See, cause uh, remember when Vegeta turned heel and became Majin Vegeta, weren't you like, yo? If you went the cocky route and only said a couple things like you, I thought you were going to win in the last round, Yeah. you would have lost. I know. But he pulled it out at the last by a couple points and followed Goku like every other villain. And the belt... <laughs> Remains with Chris. Thank you. Sorry, Kyle. Good match. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know who you guys think should have won. Are you excited Chris is still a champion? Of course they are. I'm a fucking master of the <laughs> Masturbator. That's the joke. Stay tuned. <laughs> More debates to come. Thanks for watching.